appreciate y'all, man. I really appreciate y'all. You too, fam. What is good, man? What's going on with y'all, man? Look, man, first of all, like I told y'all during the intro, bruh. Big, big thank you, man. Big, big thank you, man. This right here, if you know, you know. We're going to get into it at the end of the video, man. But it wouldn't be possible without any of y'all, man. So for that, I thank y'all. We have finally reached part four. Part four of four of my entire collection, man. And um, y'all have been asking your boy for this collection video since I started YouTube, man. And um, you know, y'all showed y'all support. Y'all got y'all boy this black box right here, man. So I had to do it for y'all, man. It's my gift. For me to y'all, as well as I will probably do something else for the channel, man. I got to give back to y'all in some way, shape, or form, man. But first and foremost, I want to thank y'all. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Do not stop now, man. If y'all have been thumbsing up and liking all my previous videos, or even if you haven't, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. This will be probably one of the most expensive parts as far as when it comes to shoes and stuff, man. So you will see a lot of gems in here. And um, yeah, man, just watch the full video. And if this is your first time stopping through, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. You have found the right channel man so uh stick around get this video like for the third or fourth time and um let's let the show begin because we got some kicks to show y'all so uh picking up where i left off i think in my last episode um what did we do in my last episode uh we did the jordan one so basically in my last episode y'all we did uh all these jordan ones right here as well as we did the lows up here on top, bruh. So we kind of cover all your boy Jordan 1 lows. If you a Jordan 1 lover, y'all probably like part three. But that's what we did in episode three. Um, I'm not even going to waste no time and go over the previous episodes. If you know, you know. Check out those other episodes if y'all want to know what we went through in the first, second, first and second episode. But today, we're going to be just, like I said, man, finishing up. So we're going to be going over here with these. Do this whole section. Got some shoes over here on the floor. And um, stay tuned for my next video, y'all. Stay tuned for my next video because I might have a treat for y'all, man. So everything you see right here, for sale. For sale. For sale. So I got dead stock and very near dead stock shoes right there that will be going up for sale, man. So you do not want to miss that one. If you haven't checked out this video, I know I'm getting a little off topic, but if you haven't checked out the early look, whoo! Check that out, man. Jordan 6, Toros, man, early, early. Check out that video if you haven't checked it out. But besides that, man, we got something to get into on this video. And um, come here for a sec. I know I said it, y'all, but I'm going to say it again. Hit that like button, man. Let's get this show started, man. We need... 3k likes minimum on this video and on um, besides that man appreciate y'all man let's get into the collection first shoe of part four comes in a white jordan box like this popping is open it is a release from 2022 end of the year the jordan 11 midnight navy the women's exclusive these did pretty good they sold pretty good and all but i don't think i'm gonna be keeping them of course your boy has a white lace swap in there and it does come with these og blue laces right here which i probably put back in the shoes but it does come with those laces very near dead stock i will be probably selling these more than likely for under retail so hey make sure you stay tuned for my next video and follow me on instagram at jtsg closet enough said Right here, I got a shoe that I picked up from the Jeff Knight Sneaker Convention. It is an Air Jordan 1 Low Life. And these right here, fire, man. This is the aluminum, the, the unisex aluminum Air Jordan 1 Lows. I have not worn these yet, but hey, they coming out soon. I tell y'all all the time, like I mentioned in my last video, cannot go wrong with that UNC Blue. No matter what you put it on, you can't go wrong with anything close to a UNC blue man so aluminum lows fire a very underrated shoe in my opinion another we're gonna call it unisex shoe um I guess these were made after the mocha Air Jordan 3s but this is the Air Jordan 3 Neapolitan you know ice cream joints but these in my opinion fire shoe these will not be going anywhere I'm holding on to these because they clean in my opinion your boy didn't get the mochas but hey these will work for now so Neapolitans, collection worthy. Right here, got a Air Jordan 
mid Air Jordan 1 mid and this is the citrus joints right here man these is clean dope not a bad pair of shoe by far but i don't know how long these will be standing in the collection i don't think that they're a bad shoe but i just don't know how many wears i get out this shoe i think i only wore them one time man so they might might go up for sale or they might not i don't know but yeah i just stay tuned but i got these in the collection for now up next right here got a red box this is a unisex exclusive red box right here this is a nice nice shoe in my opinion man fire air jordan one this is the air jordan one lucky greens tough 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 one of my favorite releases i want to say these released back in 2021 um very christmas like shoe if you want to call it that but um i think that they dope man sell hits on that mid so clean shoe so lucky green ones definitely one of my favorite jordan ones another red box right here this is a recent release this is of course the denim or are they called chanel chanel air jordan ones from uh, 2022 you know your boy immediately had to snatch off these little earring things or whatever these might as well can go in the garbage but chanel joints right here not a bad denim pair of air jordan ones i still got mine's dead stock i don't know i don't know do i see myself wearing them i might have to try to probably put them on with a couple fits see how i like them and i don't know if i'm gonna move them or keep them but we'll, we'll just see when we get to it but red laces that might be the move in these as well but got these as well up next we got one of these boxes air jordan 12 or something else you don't know but popping it open it is an air jordan 12 bro this right here in my opinion a very very underrated air jordan 12 um of course i got soul protectors on the bottom got to keep them clean because you know them jordan 12 bottoms get dirty quick but this in my opinion fire air jordan 12 very underrated whenever i wore this shoe bro i got like four compliments like crazy like i i don't get that many compliments on a gr shoe but i got several compliments when i had these on feet the jordan 12 uh what they call these the uh dang the stealth stealth 12s stealth 12s definitely a clean pill up next red box these shot up in price got some dust on the top but these shot up in price a lot air jordan 14 gym reds think these released in 2021 clean pair right here and it's crazy to see what these are going for right now man but uh definitely a clean pair air jordan 14 lows do i need them i uh, i guess i i'll keep them because i do have ferraris i don't need two of the red shoes however this does have that black toe jordan 14 vibe so i guess i can hold on to these because it is different in its own way so 14 gym reds they're gonna stick around for a little bit up next my man was crying last night bro My man was crying. We got a LeBron James shoe right here. This is the LeBron. Are these nines? I think they nines. You know, look, if it ain't a Jordan, I don't know uh, the, the number, but this is the Big Bang joints, man. So yeah, Bang Bang, got the Big Bangs right here. And of course I do have a black lace swap in them. Still DS two outside but i did do an inside the house on feet to these but they originally came with orange laces all orange out but these right here a nice shoe man i never caught the original version of them so i had to have the retro and um yeah i think that they a dope shoe big bangs up next we got another queen i mean king king uh james shoe right here this shoe is the lebron yeah, yeah, yeah. I think these are the sevens or eights. LeBron eight. LeBron eight. I'm gonna stick with eight. LeBron eight. Um, Space Jams, bro. This is a dope shoe. This is a dope shoe. Of course, I got a lace swap in them. They normally come with the black laces, and um, I don't know, man. These, I, psh, bro. This shoe is going for like a hundred dollars right now, bro. Crazy that this shoe is going for the price that it's going for, but because it's going for that price. I'm going to have to hold on to it because I'm not giving away this shoe for no $100. This shoe is worth way more than that. And I'm sure when people look back at this shoe in the future, they're going to be like, bruh, do you remember when they was going for like nothing? Yeah, LeBron, 
Eight Space Jams. Up next, one of my favorites. I told y'all in my last video, Jordan Brown, y'all need to come back with the slide out boxes. If you know, you know, man, you got that X and that I on the top, Roman numeral 11. When you pop it open, you get one of my favorite Air Jordan nine retros, the cap and gowns. These are fire. These are fire. Nice shoe in my opinion. Definitely a shoe that has like went crazy on the resale side of things. But I think that this is actually one of the best looking non-OG Air Jordan 11s. Of course, uh, if you, well, got a lot of dust on my shoe. But if you don't know, the Space Jam 11 is my favorite Air Jordan 11. So, you know, with this having that type of a vibe to it, it's definitely got to be up there with the Space Jam. So, I think that this is a nice shoe. The Cap and Gown 11s, dope. Speaking of Space Jam, man, right here, we do got the Air Jordan Space Jams, 45 on the top. Pop it open real quick for y'all, give y'all a quick glimpse of it. Um, my pair still should be clean. I think I only wore this pair one time, bro. One time, I got mine in this plastic baggie right here. From 2016, as you can still see the condition of these, bro clean i got some dirt right here that i need to go ahead and get off but i'll fix that but i only wore these one time and they still look you know pretty much dead stock man take a look at the outsole clean clean i guess the bag is doing it some justice huh i don't know but space jam this is my favorite air jordan 11. some people like bread some people like uh concords i don't know is the con I think that this is my favorite over the Concord. I might have said the Concord is my favorite, but this has got to be my favorite Air Jordan 11 of all time, man. Give me a 2009 pedal. Low cut pattern level, game over, man. But Space Jam 11. Up next, we got an early release, but it is still in the collection, man. We got the Air Jordan 5 UNCs. This shoe is set to release March 2023. Fire shoe in my opinion, bro. Like I told y'all, you cannot go wrong with UNC. I'm not gonna spend all day on it. You see it, you see it. If you wanna see more of it, check out your boys. First look video of these and um, you'll get a better look, man. But UNC fives, I said I might not keep them, but I'm going to keep them, man. I can't go wrong with UNC, man, so got them. Up next, this looks like a Jordan 4 box. Yes, it is a Jordan 4. This is another early one right here, man. This is the Air Jordan 4. C foam man so if y'all have been watching i did show y'all first look at this shoe and i think that it's a nice solid shoe i debated on keeping it and i think i'm gonna go ahead and hold on to them man they're dope shoe in my opinion set to release i want to say february sometime in february but i think that this is a nice shoe in my opinion the hues of green that they use is like a nice soft earth tone green so i think this is a solid shoe man so gotta have these in the collection C foams dope shoe up next one of my favorites bro favorites this is another early look depending on when you're watching this video but one of my favorites of this year i think it's my most anticipated shoe over everything releasing it's the air jordan 4 crafts i'm loving this shoe bro this shoe has big time collab vibes bro y'all seen my first look video of these you've seen a little bit more detail so y'all know what i'm talking about but i'm digging this shoe down to to just everything bro outsole the the sale the the you know what i'm saying vintage hits what i described this shoe as was a futuristic old school sneaker or futuristic vintage sneaker so it has a futuristic look and it has a vintage look man but fire man the air jordan 4 crafts February 11th, I want to say around $200, something like that, man. But get you a pair of these, man. They going crazy for these. Next, we got another Air Jordan 4. I love these boxes. I love the creativity. If you know, you know this is the Air Jordan 4 Military Blacks. And I got some laces hanging and stuff. But Military Blacks, one of the best Air Jordan 4s to release of 2022, in my opinion, man. What can I say about them, bro? They just dope. Very versatile, you know what I'm saying? You can do a lot with them. So, Military Blacks, a shoe that I definitely had to have in my collection. Yes, we got some more foes, man. Foes, foes. So, right here, another shoe for 2022. Another dope one, man. This is the Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navy, man. Your boy has a clean, clean, crisp, dead stock pair right here, man. I have not threw these on feet yet, but Jordan Brand know what they're doing. Whenever they come out with an all-over white Air Jordan 4 silhouette, you know what I mean? It's giving cement vibes, you know what I'm saying? So you cannot go wrong with an all-white cement. So I think that this is a dope shoe to have to the collection. So, of course, I had to add them. 
Midnight Navies, bro. Moving right along. Now, Jordan Brand. Y'all know y'all dropped the ball with this one, bro. Y'all know y'all dropped the ball with this one. But I'm glad I got a pair. But I wish I had a crispier pair, man. This is the Air Jordan 11 Gums. So, yes, I do have them right here. The Gamma 11s, Gamma 11s, whatever they want to call them. Fire, man. This is another one of them non OG colorways that I think is up there. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, hey, hence Space Jam vibes or something. But I love when they give us an all over black Air Jordan 11. It just, it just looks so clean, bro. And this one had the low cut patent leather. So, man, why we couldn't get these back, Jordan Brand? Please look. 2024. Let's make it happen. 2024. We praying for these, man. But Gamma 11s, must. Got a Jordan 10, 11, 9, whatever box. Kind of dusty, but this is another dope show in my opinion. Lace swap, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. But this is the Air Jordan 11, 72, and 10 lows, man. I need to put the black laces back in here, but the white's still popping, you know what I'm saying? But arguably one of the best quality Air Jordan 11s out there. The 72 and 10 highs had some crazy quality. This is nothing short of that, man. This got some fire, fire leather on it. But 72 and 10 lows, got these in the collection as well. Right here is another shoe that might be going up for sale real soon. This is the Air Jordan 9 Statues. So Air Jordan 9 Statues, this is one of the few Air Jordan 9s that I have in my collection. This does have that olive all over hit, white base. This is a clean pair. Very clean. I only wore them probably twice, bro. Only worn about two times and um, they're in good condition, but I don't know how long these will be in the collection. Stay tuned, JTSG Closet. You might see these on there for like around a hundred dollars. Cheap, cheap. So, statues. All right, y'all, up next right here. Don't even gotta open the box, man. This right here is a Fire Air Jordan 7, man. I have said it time and time again. This is actually one of my, my favorite Air Jordan 7s to have released as of late, bro. These olives right here, a lot of people slept on them. I probably would've did the same thing and waited till they went on sale because these will go on sale, but I got them for like 160. You know what I'm saying? I had some coupons, so I went ahead and pulled the trigger. But I say, look, if you like sevens, these go on sale. These are a must, bro. I think you can do a lot with this shoe. They look real good on feet. So out of sevens, I got to have these in the collection. Forces. Supreme Forces. Supreme Forces. So... You know, I got forces if I need the worm. You know, you got to keep these. You know what I'm saying? Should I hit my fat Joe and lick the bottom? Nah, I ain't going to do that. I ain't, nah, I, ain't, I don't get down like that. But anyways, yeah. Got to keep some all whites on deck, man. Three pairs of all whites. I ain't worn out one of them yet. I think I got another pair somewhere in here too. So, got to have these, bro. Right here, man. When? Is this what I think it is? Yeah. Will this shoe ever release? Will it ever release, man? But I do have it in the collection. This is the Air Jordan 5. Gore-Tex, man. So, these are the Air Jordan 5 Gore-Tex. I no longer have my metallic black 5s. So, uh, I had to grab these. And I'm curious, will these ever release in the U.S.? I don't know. I don't know. I still need to hit y'all with an on feet to these. I was just kind of waiting to see if the U.S. has a release date to them. But, haven't heard nothing yet, man. But, take, man, look. Do you see this? Do you see that quality, man? Look. Nice premium new buck on this shoe. Clean shoe. We need a US drop. Gore-Tex 5's dopeness. Right here, we got an Air Jordan 5, 6 box, 7. Yeah, Air Jordan 7 Cardinals, man. Y'all slept heavy. Y'all slept heavy. You still can get your hands on these. Possibly getting ready to go on sale right now, man. But the Air Jordan 7 Cardinals, in my opinion, is one of the better colorways to release as of late. OG, OG colorway, man. So definitely had to add the Cardinals to the collection. I didn't have the previous version. So got these now, and they here to stay, man. Cardinal 7s. Keeping the show rolling right here. We got a shoe that is going for a lot, and I don't know why. It's just a plain shoe, but I guess it's because it's a collab. But we got the Air Jordan 1 KO Low uh, Union. So, of course, this is a collab with Union. This is a special feature about it. Don't know why it's going for as much as it's going for, but hey, I mean, it's a union. So you do got a little union tab. You got some extra swooshes. You got some extra laces. You got a high price on the resale. So there you have them, Air Jordan 1 Low KOs. Got them in the collection. 
recent release right here as you can see air jordan 2 box this is the air jordan 2 responsibilities responsibilities man this right here one of a kind all over suede mid so first time we have seen that but this is not a bad air jordan 2 my opinion clean you know what i'm saying all black can't go wrong with an all black shoe so had to have these air jordan 2 responsibilities you can get them for under retail if you want them you know don't be me don't pay over retail but i do it for the fam hit that like button liddy 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 it's lit man so right here i got the most recently released jordan brand travis scott collab this is the air jordan one low and i know i'm gonna have to do a lot of unboxing to get to it but look at this bro look at this look at this all this i gotta go through man so this is the air jordan one low travis scott's so i do have the travis scott black phantoms in the collection as well you know gotta have all black shoe i was just talking about all black shoes man so definitely gotta have an all black pair shout out to jumping man chris for uh the assist on these yes sir up next another highly anticipated this shoe was a classic man a lot of people are looking forward to this one i was able to get my hands on them early yes sir this is the 2023 air jordan 13 playoffs see that little little yellow ring right there on the tongue yeah yeah that speaks volumes when you got that yellow ring on the tongue man but playoff 13s had to have these in the collection this is my first time owning them but hey if you haven't checked out my first look and you want to see some more details on them check that out these right here tough bro right here what we have is sleep sleep y'all gonna come back and be like bro i woulda shoulda coulda but this right here is the nike lebron 20 queen james king james whatever y'all want to call it you know what i'm saying christmas joints man this one i had to double back for i had a pair and i was like nah i ain't gonna keep them got rid of them had to get them back because this is just a nice shoe you know what i'm saying nice christmas vibe shoe it give me kobe grinch vibe so with that in my head i'm like let me just hold on to a pair because i don't want to regret it you see what the grinches are doing right now they're going crazy so i'm like let me just invest in a pair set them to the side and see what they do but lebron 20 christmas days they in the collection oh so right here y'all in these two boxes shout out to my guy cool kai he blessed me with two pairs of these and this one on top is gonna be the cool kai cool grays man so cool grays fire this is a dope dope clean colorway in my opinion man he took over the game he was going crazy a lot of people celebrities was buying his shoes up man um shout out to him entrepreneur i hope his whole situation with nike goes well but you know shout out to him for the gray pair he sent me this pair as well as he did send me another pair let me show y'all that pair right here in a second this pair right here, you do got the graphics on top. Muhammad Ali Sports Legends. You got the great Jackie Robinson. You know, you got some sports legends right there on the top of that box. Other than that, kicks, you got this all over corduroy with a little bit of suede on it and a little bit of uh, canvas. You know what I'm saying? Dope materials on this shoe right here. This is a pair he also gifted me. So shout out to Cool Kai for sending me these pairs, man. Shout out to you, bro yes sir so up next whoo one of my recent pickups as you can see this one did come from goat got your goat upc right there this shoe did not release in the u.s did not release in the u.s this is the air jordan one low chinese new year year of the rabbit man so as you can see it got that rabbit fur type of shoelace and it has all that furry suede going throughout the whole upper of the shoe these right here man one of my favorite Air Jordan 1 lows. Clean, man. Just, you know your boy like them earth tones, bro. So, these right here fire in my opinion. And, um, had to have these in the collection. And of course, you know I got them protected. I was getting ready to do the on feet. So, this movie should be coming soon, man. So, Chinese New Year joints, must cop. Right here, we got, depending on when you're watching this video, the next upcoming release from Jordan Brand. This is a Jordan 2. And is anybody feeling lucky? Anybody feeling lucky? Feeling lucky. I do have the Lucky Green Air Jordan 2s right here. Nice Air Jordan 2 in my opinion. And I don't know when you're watching this video, but if you were one of the first ones watching this video and you were a size nine and a half and you want them, I got you guaranteed. I can get you a pair overnight. It hit me up at JTSG Closet on Instagram. Say, hey bro, what's going on with that nine and a half? I'm gonna get you right, man. So I do have these early, just a nine and a half if you want them. But the Lucky Green 2s, this is a nice shoe in my opinion. 
All right, y'all, so up here on the top, look familiar. Got that light blue box on the top. And this one right here. Y'all know about these, bro. Y'all know about these. The Air Jordan 3 UNC, bro. This shoe right here, way more limited than a lot of people expected. Like, bro, this, I don't know what to say about these, but this is a must cop. I should have doubled up. I should have doubled up, and I did have more than one pair, but... I sold them. The price was too good, my boy. Price was too good, but UNC 3s must have in the collection. Yellow box lid. Y'all know what these are right here. This is the Air Jordan 4. Uh, Thunder? Lightning? Lightning? Lightning. We're going to say Lightning. Air Jordan 4 Lightning right here. Of course, I got a little white lace swap in there, you know, but they did come with the all over yellow laces, which I don't even know where they at. I mean, I got to do better with my laces, but y'all know what these is. Air Jordan 4 Lightnings. Clean shoe. Got these in the collection. One of my favorite Air Jordan 4s right here. You know you can't go wrong with that baby blue, man. We got the Air Jordan 4 UNCs right here. And like I tell y'all, look, we need a pack or something, bro. Can't go wrong. And I, I said, look, which one is better, man? Which one is better? Y'all go to my first look video of my Air Jordan 5s. Comment down below in that video which one y'all think is better. But, of course, the UNC 4s, no doubt, no question, is a shoe that I had to have in my collection, bro. Fire. Right here, another UNC box. As you can see, this is the Air Jordan 6. Fireness. Fire. Air Jordan 6 UNCs right here. Of course, you got to have them so protected. Keep that icy, blue icy. But these right here. Another one of my favorites, man. Look, UNC blue, bro. Like, if you don't know, baby blue is my favorite color. You know now. So, gotta have these in the collection. All right, y'all. So, now we're getting into some dunks. We about to be dunking on them real quick for a quick second. So, up top, got an SB dunk. This is the Nike SB dunk. Oh, them purples. Them purples. So, if y'all checked out my video recently um, from Champions Kicks, he uh, provided your boy with this pair right here. And y'all said that these was beaters, man. And I was like, where? Look, beaters, where? Where, bro? Like, clean condition, man. Purple lobsters, tell me, beaters, where? These is in prestige condition, man. Clean, clean pair of purple lobsters. Come on, bro. Thank y'all with your hating. Y'all mad? Y'all mad at me for something, bro? What I did, man? Purples. It's colorful Nike SB box. This one right here is another lobster, man. We going out. Look, we going lobster fishing, bro. We going lobster fishing. So shout out to the wifey. Shout out to the wife. She got your boy the orange lobsters. Still got a DS pair right here. Haven't put them on feet yet. Of course, I got everything in here. I got my bands and all that good stuff. But if you know, you're not supposed to be having the bands on the shoe when they're just sitting in here. Really, it's only for like display. You're not even supposed to wear them on there. But purple, I mean, orange, y'all know what I mean. Orange lobsters. Gotta have these in the collection as well. Shout out to the wife for getting me this pair. Up next, purple Nike SB box. This one right here is the Nike SB. Why so sad so i know when i hit y'all with my unboxing of this video a lot of y'all asked me was i selling this shoe because i said i wasn't really knowing if i was gonna keep them or not but after looking up the history of this shoe and the meaning behind it man you know mental illness and stuff like that you know uh it, it, it just has to be one of them shoes that i hold on to because i like shoes with meaning like that and i i you know i just i'm a fan of that type of stuff man so of course the why so sad nike dunks Got these in the collection. Hit on them on the restock for retail. So, I'm going to hold on to these for a good little while, man. On to the next. Another colorful Nike SB box right here. Recent retail pickup. I cop these from a local skate shop. If y'all check out the vlog, y'all seen it all happen. But this is the controversial Nike SB Dunk eBay's. I think it's a real creative shoe. That's why I had to add it to the collection. It's different. It's not on the top of everybody's list but like i said man your boy jay likes different i like a little challenge you know what i'm saying so i think putting together a nice dope fit with these is gonna be a little challenge therefore i mean could i pull it off with my fit i think i could bro nah camera camera girl said nah what y'all think ebay dunks bro last nike sb for now we got the nike sb dunk Oh, 
LA Dodgers right here, man. This is a fire shoe right here. Uh, shout out to the homie Jumpman Chris. He helped me out with a size swap on these to get my in particular size. So I do have these in the collection. A little bit of gum, you know what I'm saying? Design on the bottom. But these is fire, man. Definitely a clean pair. I will be putting these on very, very soon, man. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. You'll see me throw these on with a dope fit, man. But Dodger Dunks, definitely a clean pair in my opinion. And price done shot up. I got these for the low. Whew. Y'all tired yet, man? Look, we done went through this section, first half of the video. So now we about to come over here. Y'all, hey, y'all wait on that. Y'all wait on that. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. But for right now, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna get into this stuff right here on the floor. And I mean, we could really, we could really start like right here, man. So let's do just that, man. So right here, I do have another shy, another. I'm, I'm, I'm mixing shoe and Kai together, but I have another cool Kai shoe. This is the uh, South Carolina or North Carolina exclusive right here, man. Um, this was at his pop-up shop in Carolina, and I was able to get my hands on him. Shout out to the homie Retro Rick in Maddie's Kicks. He did pick up a, point for you, a pair for your boy, so I do have this pair still dead stock in the collection right here. So moving on from that, this next pair, I hit this pair on cool kai's website this is the football the cool kai football joint man so these kind of unique it has that football texture leather all throughout the upper right there so pretty dope pretty dope and i warm as you can see wore these about two times man so dope shoe we've already went into that in one of my previous reviews but uh whoo yes one of my favorite dornbackers man creative creative you know your boy is like very spontaneous i like this all over craziness this is my vibe man so uh the air jordan 5 low dorm beckers dope dope shoe in my opinion had to add these to the collection so yes sir i got these in the collection as well this shoe right here was going for a crazy amount when they first retroed um released not retroed when they first released but we finally got like a more you know uh a more wider release on this shoe in 2021 and um your boy was able to pick them up man this is the of course the south beach lebron eights fire shoe man definitely definitely a must for my collection first shoe i have right here is a recent pickup yes the nike dunk reverse brazils man this shoe right here clean i, I, I want to argue that it's better than the original brazils but i mean Y'all let me know, bro. Reverse or regular Brazils, but the reverse is definitely a shoe to not be slept on, man. So, got these in the collection as well. Another white and red box. Nike Dunk Arizona's right here. This is another recent release. Got these. Had to add them to the collection. I think that that's a nice color. You know what I'm saying? That maroon with that dark golden color. Dope colorway in my opinion, man. So, got these. Haven't had a chance to wear them yet. But... That, that time is coming soon, man. I'm going to put together a nice fit with those because up next, another Nike Dunk. This is the USC's. I want to say that this is the USC Dunks right here. Um, I hit these on the Nike app when they released. No issues, no nothing. Um, Haven't worn these yet neither because just haven't had the time. But soon come, man. Soon come. These right here are a, a nice, clean Dunk. I almost overlooked them almost didn't get them but this is the nike dunk platinum pure platinums i want to say clean pair of nike dunks man nice new buck material all throughout the uppers very very soft materials clean only thing i don't like is the laces but i could easily swap those out for some laces that i like maybe white laces maybe blue laces i don't know but the pure platinum dunks these are clean nice translucent out so Nice clean shoe in my opinion. I haven't worn these yet neither. Another dunk, of course. All these for the most part gonna be dunks, man. So we're gonna stay right in that little area. This is a Nike dunk high that I don't even know why I still have these. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually get rid of these. So this will be part of my shoe sale. I didn't even know I had these. Like I be having shoes that I don't even know I had, but this is the high navy dunks right here, man. So I don't need these when i have these right here man it don't make sense for me to have both shoes to have the navy co jps and to have these makes no sense i'ma pick my navy co jps over these 10 times out of 10 so these will be going up for sale man so stay tuned for the low low too right here we got oh we got the nike dunk what the name of these is the uh veneers 
veneers, bro. The Nike Dunk veneers, I threw these on one time. These are another pair of Ninja Turtles, man. What, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, I don't know my Ninja Turtles, but if you know which turtle I'm talking about, you know which turtle I'm talking about, man. But look at that material. Of course, you got your backstroke motion right there on that. Suede, clean pair of Nike Dunks in my opinion, man. So veneers, a dunk that I had to add to the collection because I think that these are clean. Right here, we have a Nike Air Max. So this is not a Nike Dunk, and this is the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet. This is not the recent release. As you can see, I got a little bit of, you know, fogginess on my air bubble. That's because this was the release from back in, what, 2018, 2018, 2019? I forgot the exact year when these released, but this isn't the new one. This is the more, uh, you know, older version, but still crisp, man. Still crisp pair I got. So that is why I did not pick up the recent release of the 97 right here got another dunk this is the nike dunk low can tuckies so this shoe recently released at the end of 2022 we got a retro of this shoe the kentucky joints these were going for a crazy amount on the resale uh, side of things but of course the retro of them kind of brought things down but the kentucky dunks was a dunk that i have always wanted and i was able to get them for a fair price last year when they retro man so Shout out to Nike for bringing back Kentuckys because I needed these. So right here, we already spoke about one version of this shoe. Here is the OG, man. So right here, we got the OG Nike Dunk Brazils, man. So told y'all, I don't know if I'm liking these Brazils or the reverse Brazils. They both clean. You cannot go wrong with either one of them. So uh, definitely clean pairs of shoes in my opinion. Shout out to Brazil. Fire. These are dope. Right here, this is another one of the first shoes I showed on my channel. Dopeness. The Nike Zoom Gal Galaxy uh, joints right here, man. Nike Zoom Rookie Galaxies. This shoe, fire. Definitely a fire shoe. I'm curious to know what these are going for now. Of course, my bottom is beat up. This is why, y'all, I started investing in Soul Protectors because I hate when my bottom of my shoes look like that. I know they meant to be worn and all that, but I just like them to stay clean and icy. So if, if I was on my Soul Protectors back when I got these, I would have had them on there, but definitely a nice shoe to Zoom Galaxy Rookie joints, bruh. And like I said, I'm curious to know. I'm curious to know. Oh, I didn't even know that this was a patch. You see, you learn something every day. Didn't even know that there was a patch. The whole time I owned this shoe, I didn't even show that in my review. That's crazy. Learn something every day. Right here, look, spooky, spooky. One of my favorite Halloween shoes that I do own, the Air Max 95. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. Air Max 95 Freddy Cougars. Boy. These are tough. Just the creativity behind them. You got some blood splatter right there. And of course that silver is supposed to represent the knives on his claws, man. Just details, bruh. Freddy Krueger 95s, a must have for me. When I seen them, had to cop them, bruh. Had to cop them, but details, man. Details, details, must cop for me in my collection. Right here, it look like we going back to dunks. Yes, we are. This is the Nike Dunk City Market. So this one is like a dunk that's kind of all over the place, but it does have some earth tones on it. Pretty clean, pretty clean. I've worn this shoe one time, and you see how dirty that outsole is, but I've worn it one time, but I wore it for a few hours, man. I was on a vacation, and I wore it like for a whole day. So, you know, I wore it for a while. That's why the bottom is so dirty, but this one does have the little stash pocket right here at the top. It won't unzip right now, but it does have a stash pocket right there at the top dope little feature you know what i'm saying if y'all want to put y'all particles in there you can but city market dunks these is clean man right here this one is another recent shoe that retro and this is the nike dunk low syracuse man another shoe that was going crazy on the resale side of things they might still be going for quite a bit but the retro of these which came out in 2022 helped this shoe out a whole lot bro they they, they turned the price down a little bit but i was able to get my hands on a pair for retail man so syracuse dunk a dunk that i always wanted but didn't want to pull the trigger for four five hundred you know what i'm saying so i'm glad that nike retro them man hey a plus nike a plus right here definitely a shoe that made my top what top five or top ten of last year fire one of my best dunks in my collection the jackie robinson dunks man this shoe right here 
So fire, so fire, man. Clean shoe in my opinion. Of course, we got a soul protect to keep it clean. But this shoe right here, man, I could just, I can go on and on about them, man. Double up worthy, but I didn't double up, unfortunately. But the Jackie Robinson Dunks, so cold, bro. These so cold. All right, y'all, so right here, shout out to my homie Craig Jolly. I got these, of course, I got my insoles out because they were biting my feet. They were biting my feet, but however, they clean shoe, man. This is the Nike Dunk Low Chlorophylls, man. Kermit the Frog joints, man. This is a clean shoe in my opinion. Um, not going for a lot right now. Still going for the low low. You can still get these for a fairly cheap price, man. So I say jump on these if you like them. Remember, always buy what you like, but this was definitely a shoe that I like. So I had to have these. Um, I don't know, man. I might sell these and buy back another pair half size up because I just, I don't like doing this. I don't like doing this. It's unnecessary. So when they so cheap, I can just buy another pair. I might sell these for the low, man. So stay tuned. I might, I might sell these for the low. These right here, double up. I had to double up on these. However, I might be getting rid of my double up because I don't need two pairs of them. But um, definitely not a bad shoe, man. I eye catcher. I wore my pair one time and I had a lot of people ask me about my dunks. They was like, bro, where'd you get your dunks? Got them for the mall, bro. Got them for the mall. You know what I'm saying? But the Nike Dunk Hurricanes, very, very eye popping. You know what I'm saying? You walk out, people are looking down at your feet. What are those? Because they just, they just shine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Got a very nice bright orange on there. Of course, it's not the same orange as the Miami Hurricanes, but it works. So Miami Hurricane Dunks, dope. All right, these right here, y'all, I might as well throw them on, bro. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I might as well throw these on right now and rock them throughout the video. You feel me? So these right here is, of course, the UCLA Dunks. And I'm, bro, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I might as well throw them on right now, man. But these right here are fire. I had to have these from when I seen first images, man. I immediately went to, to go and I put in an offer. As soon as I seen first images, I'm like, look, whoever get their hands on their first pairs, hey, accept my offer, please. But um, yeah, man, I ended up getting a pair early off of GOAT and then I ended up... No, I didn't double up. I only have one pair, man. But this is a double up worthy shoe in my opinion. But UCLA's, you know what I'm saying? It's the vibe of the video. It's the vibe of the video. Gotta have these. For any of y'all that's hungry, make sure you grab your snack. It's a long video, but um, this ties into a snack that you might want to munch on. We got some fruity pebble dunks right here. This was one that I kind of questioned. I didn't even know if I was going to keep it or not. I still even question if I'm going to wear this shoe. I, I, I don't know. It's kind of like, I know I'm definitely not going to rock them with these laces because the lace is a little bit too much for me. I got to tone it down with maybe like all white or something, but it's still a it's still a cool dunk. You know what I'm saying? It kind of got kitty vibes to it, but you still can pull it off if you have your grown man swagger right. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't count these out just yet. So I'll just, I'll just see what, you know, the future holds for these. But Fruity Pebble Dunks, all right, y'all, so with everything on the floor out the way, we are now going to move into the cases. Of course, if y'all watch some of my other videos, y'all seen that we went through the case on a couple shoes, but we're going to hit the shoes that we didn't hit in those videos. So first things first, this is a shoe that we did not see in any of those videos. This is the Nike, Nike Air Jordan 6 Slam Dunks, man. Shout out to my boy Juan over at Legends Boutique in Miami. He let me get these for a steal, man. I think I paid like 300 for these. So he let me get these for a steal of a price. I worn them about three times and you still see how clean that outsole is. Still, still clean and there's no sole protectors on here. So these, you know, hold up to the test of time as far as the durability of this shoe in my opinion. And you know, it does have that anime style detailing on it. If you know, you know, but this is a shoe that you do not see every day, man. The Air Jordan 6 Slam Dunks, man. So that's how we starting it off. Of course, that's a lace swap. It doesn't come with the black laces, but moving on. Man, long live Virgil, man. Long live Virgil. Of course, your boy had to scoop up the Air Jordan 2 Off-Whites. This is one of my favorites out of, you know, the Off-Whites that have released as far as with Jordan brand. Dope shoe, you know what I'm saying? This is clean, very underrated in my opinion, man. The black pair, very, very underrated, but it's dope nonetheless, man. So I had to add these to the collection as well. Moving on past those, more twos, these, bruh. This the only mellow I know. This the only mellow I know, man. It was a, a big debate recently um, talking to the young generation. Whenever somebody says mellow referring to basketball, who are they talking about? They was like LaMelo Ball. I'm, come on, bro. Seven. 
Seven. That's the only mellow I know, man. Seven, man. But hey, mellow twos, dopeness. I had to have these in my collection. I sold them once, got them back. They're not going nowhere this time, man. So mellow twos, definitely one of the cleanest Air Jordan twos. Right here, we getting litty. We getting litty. So right here, I do have the Air Jordan six. Travis Scott's and of course you see your boy Jay you know what I'm doing with him man so I do have some crimson uh laces in one shoe and I got the yellow laces that they come with in the other shoe just a dope little swap I had to do and of course of course you got to keep your grails nice clean and icy man so I did put some sole protectors on the bottom but here you have them right here man one of the dopest Air Jordan 6s as far as when it comes to you know collabs and all that good stuff you know the olive Travis Scott Air Jordan 6s. And the prices went down a lot on this shoe, bro. I'm surprised that they went down to where they're at right now. So right here, coming into row number two. Top man, of course, if y'all know, this is a recent release from the Ama Manier family, the Jordan 1s. These are clean, not one of my favorites when it comes to the Ama Maniers, but you know, it's a clean shoe. I had to add this to the collection, you know, Nice, nice little vibe. So, got these in the collection as well. One of my more favorites when it comes to the I Mama years is the Air Jordan 2s. I think that these are dope, man. A lot of y'all will put the 1s over the 2s, but I like the 2s over the 1s. That's just me. But I do have the 2s. Had to add these to the collection as well. Details, 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 man. Shout out to James Whitner, man. He killing it with them Amas, man. But, uh, man, right here. Now, hands down, the best one. I have yet, of course, to put my arms on feet, as you can see. But this is the Air Jordan 3 I'm on years, man. I paid $350 for these. I caught them at the right time when they dipped to their lowest point. Caught them for $350. Brand new out the box. You know what I'm saying? But now, you ain't getting these for no $350. But I had to have them. I still got my ZS. But I will be throwing these on feet at some point in time. Throw me some sole protectors on there. I'm going to be good to go. So, got those. And um, keeping it moving right here, got one of my favorite Air Jordan 1 Lows in my collection. The Air Jordan 1 Low Fragment Travis Scott's, man. Now these, these is tough, bro. The Fragment Travis Scott joints, cold in my opinion. Definitely a dope shoe. So I had to have those. And I think we went through everything else right here. Right here up on top, got the Mocha. OG Travis Scott Lowe's right here had to had to have these in the collection man prices on these are sort up to like 2k crazy man crazy with the price that these are going for right now but this is a shoe I definitely had to have in my collection one of the first uh collab Air Jordan ones that I had in my collection so these were a must and um let's keep it moving let me see what I got over here um right here this box Queen, I mean King James. Bruh. We got uh, LeBron nine, or is I don't know my like I said I don't know my LeBron numbers, but this is the Watch the Throne. I think we're gonna call it a nine, but the Watch the Throne LeBron's right here. Haven't worn them yet, but I will throw them on feet very soon. The Watch the Throne joints, man. If y'all remember when these came out before the Worldwide release, this was like a twenty thousand dollar shoe. But you know when you wait. They hit that GR market, you get them for the low, man. But those right here in this box, we got a dope LeBron. This is the LeBron 7 Media Days, man. So this one, I had to have, bro. I just thought that this stuck out so much to me. Whenever I seen LeBron, when he first got with the Lakers and he put these on for his Media Day, and I was like, bro, what are those? then like a couple months later we got official release of these i had to have them bro so these are the lebron eight sevens y'all tell me but i got the media day joints on deck had to have these just a dope creative shoe in my opinion all right y'all we down to the last 12 shoes there's only 12 more shoes left in my collection man one of the 12 is the air max penny two or not air max whatever it is the air penny twos this is of course the white and blue social status penny twos right here the the blue pair got that one got of course the black pair you got to have them both so i got the social status penny twos 
in the black colorway as well. And with those out the way, let's get into these right here. Right here on top, if you know, you know, this is the Nike Air Max Travis Scott joints. And this is a fire colorway, in my opinion, one of the best ones. So I did want the wheat colorway, but um, I said I'm good on them, man. I'm gonna just have these, they real close. I think that this is actually the better with the dark shade of brown, man. So I'm gonna just hold on to this pair. I'm good on the wheats for right now, but got these as well in the collection. DS Action right here. This is another Air Jordan 2 collab, and this is the collab with Union. This is, I wanna say, the Rattan colorway, Um, the, the Jordan 2 joints. So Union LA collab. Jordan 2 Rattanes, got these as well, haven't worn them, don't know when I wear them, but um, if y'all want them, y'all can get them for the low, man, don't sleep on these, I think they dope. Another Air Jordan 2 Union collab, this is of course going to be the other colorway, y'all let me know which colorway is better, y'all can argue between the two, but this is of course the blue colorway, I forgot the name of this one, but um, got this one as well. Up next, hey, we've been freestyling the whole video, bro. This is one of my favorite dunks, man. This dunk right here is dope, in my opinion. This is the Nike dunk, of course, Dorn Becker. So this does have a good meaning behind this shoe, as well as it's just very clean, man. As you can see, um, the creator of this shoe, who was the creator? I forgot who the creator of this shoe was, but they do like Oregon. As you can see, it does have Oregon vibes on it, man. So this one is dope. It does have the interchangeable swooshes and all that good stuff. So you can take off the swoosh. You can put a green one. Um, I think they have quite a few other colors, but I just got one, you know, stripe one green i think it was a dope little mixture so you can do quite a few different things with this dunk so i thought that this was a dope one to have up next right here since we talking about tools and all that good stuff let's keep it going with the jordan 2 man so this right here is the jordan 2 off white which i have yet to un ds my pair man so this is still ds right here haven't worn my pair yet but it does have a nice little little worn look to it but I will be bringing these out real soon, man. Real soon, um, real soon, real soon. So the Air Jordan 2 Chicago Off-Whites, another pair that I do have in the collection. These are fire. Right here, Swiss cheese, Swiss cheese. You already know what these is. This is, of course, the Air Jordan 5 Off-White in the muslin or muslin colorway, man. I think, man, I don't even gotta let y'all know what I think. These is just fire. These are fire, man. Of course, y'all call these the P yellow joints, but it is what it is, man. These is cold, if you ask me. Eight days out of seven. Fire shoe, man. Got those. And last but not least in this stack, another Swiss cheese box. If we got the muslins, you know we got to have the black pair right here, man. This is, what, what color? I forgot what, I forgot the name of these, but I got these as well. So protected, all that good stuff. These are fire. I think that the black pair, of course, is the better pair, but we can argue and go back and forth for which one y'all like better. To me, I'm going with these over, of course, the Muslim pair, but they fire, bro. But final three, final three, man. So right here, of course, everyone knows what this shoe is. It's no secret. This is the Air Jordan one. Travis Scott highs, definitely a must cop, man. Real quick story, man. I hit for retail on these at Foot Locker South State Street, but I didn't pick it up, bro. Back when they had the countdown on the Foot Action app, the 54321 joint confirmed, I hit on a pair, never went to Chicago and picked them up. My biggest sneaker regret. But I paid resale for this when I actually had it before the release. That's why I didn't want to drive and book a ticket and all that stuff to Chicago, but I wish I did it looking back at it, man. But I do have, of course, the Travis Scott's right there. And right here, one of my favorite Air Jordan 1s, I got the Trophy Rooms. Trophy Room Air Jordan 1, like I said, man, one of my favorites, man. Um, It does resemble that Chicago color blocking, which is my favorite Air Jordan 1 color blocking. So Chicago style with the the story behind it, of course, them um uh freezing him out. Magic Johnson and all that stuff. Y'all know the story. But Blue Lace Gang. Y'all know it. Blue Lace Gang. You got to be Blue Lace Gang if you got them. And they so protected all that good stuff. But of course, this had to be my second to last shoe because one of my favorites. And then the last shoe that your boy has is the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott High. 
fragments. Of course, I got a cell lace swap in there. It does not come with the cell laces. I just put those in there. But bruh, this is one of my most expensive shoes in my collection, man. I paid a grip for this shoe, but um, I got them, man. So this is the last shoe in your boy Jay's collection, man. And um, I want to take the time out and thank y'all, man. If y'all have watched every last one of my collection videos, bruh, truly appreciate y'all more than y'all can understand, man. Like, look. Couldn't have did it without y'all, bro. Couldn't have done it without y'all, man. So I'm gonna take this time out real quick, sit down, and um unbox this, you know what I'm saying? And um give y'all my 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 appreciation, my thanks, bro. So I don't even want to read all this stuff, man. But like I said, man, none of this would have been possible without y'all, man. So a blessing, bro. A blessing, bro. Do you do you see what that says, man? unreal bro i started youtube bro and i was like if i get a couple hundred subscribers you know what i'm saying I, i'll stick around and do it it was a lot of times where i was like bro i don't even i don't even want to make a video bro i don't even know if i want to keep doing this bro but <sighs> whatever it is that you doing bro your boy jay is here to tell y'all stick through it bro you can make it possible you can achieve it if you believe it bro so thank y'all Truly appreciate y'all watching this video, man. Give this video a thumbs up. I gotta give a big shout out to my daughter, man. Big shout out to my daughter. She is the one that's recording this video. She has been the one behind mainly all my videos, man. So I kind of taught her the game and she has took over. She probably done got better at it than I am, man. So I truly appreciate her, you know what I'm saying? I try to get her the things that she want as far as when it comes to, you know, a form of, of, of showing my appreciation for what she does because I truly appreciate her, man. So um, I just want to thank her at the end of this video, I can't go without doing that. As well as if y'all would, man. Let her know how she's doing in the comment section as I always tell y'all. Because, hey, without her neither, man. This, this She helped me get this. I didn't get this by myself. So shout out to everybody else. You know, my wife for the support. My, my family, my friends, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. It wasn't just me, man. So shout out to everyone who, you know what I'm saying, contributed, you know what I'm saying, contributed, you know what I'm saying, helping your boy get to this point, man. So I just wanted to say that. And yeah, your boy Jay out from there, man. Y'all stay blessed. Peace. Jay making movies. Swap it out, scene, don't shoot it. Sauce with the drip, that's the groovy. Jordan ones cost more than your Gucci. Plus I doubled up, shot it so sue me. You can say I'm in my bed, no Louis. Greatness in my jeans, no truly. It'd be better.